Hello and welcome to this Mythic Battles Battle Report. Right, we thought we'd shake things up for the first one back. So we have two of the creators battling it out in a grudge match. Yep, so we have Leo versus Benoit, you know, two of the mega minds behind the game going at it. I'm in there as well just to keep everybody, you know, on the level. Yeah. <laughs> it's also worth bearing in mind that in all of these battles for Mythic Battles, the rules are still in beta. They are still evolving. So if you have feedback or questions on the rules as you watch, Come on over to beastofwar.com, leave your feedback, and the developers will be watching. Right, enjoy the show. Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play Mythic Battles Pantheon. Today I am joined by the guys from Mythic Battles themselves. On my left, I have the fabulous Benoit, one of the rules designers for the game. On the right, you will of course know the fabulous Leo, who has been running the Kickstarter, doing all those great live streams. Today we have a treat for everybody because today these two are going to have a fight. Not 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 fisticuffs. Pantheon, Pantheon. So guys, uh, we are going to play this game as a two-player. Yes. 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 Great. <clears throat> okay. So uh, for anyone who doesn't know, and if you don't know, you have really missed out. How do we begin a game of Mythic Battles Pantheon? Well, we begin with a draft, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the good thing about the game is you can draft with what you have, and you can you can decide to draft with as many minis as you, as you want, or a selection of these minis. Uh, what we chose to do for this very game is to play with only painted miniatures. Yeah, so as you can see across the tabletop, everybody's laid out looking beautifully painted. And, uh, well... So, what do we have? We have the core box, it's fully painted, plus we have, uh, I think, five more uh, units. Okay. We have Hera, mm -hmm. who was recently painted during our Mythic Party. Nice. Right? Uh, we have the three judges of the dead. So, Minus, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Icas, and Radamanthus. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, so, they're painted and we can draft them. Okay. And finally, we have one troop. And it's the, the satyr. The satyr. Oh, the satyr. The uh, satyr. I don't think well. I have them on camera, unfortunately. But we well, will get a close-up of them sure. if they are chosen. So, guys, uh, start drafting. Okay, well, we have to decide who goes first, and this will be by rolling dice roll. a yes. dice. All right, got it. Oh, well, oh. well, Benoit is mm -hmm. has got the first pick. I go first. Yes. Okay, so I have to choose my god, and it's gonna be Athena. Ah, okay. So if I grab her card here, I can quickly show everybody who you've chosen. So Athena. You may remember this from the last battle myself and Warren fought, where he, he kind of took me to school with this particular character. And if we have a look at the painted version, she is absolutely beautifully sculpted, and the paint job is magnificent. So that's going to be your god. Benoit, tactically, why have you chosen Athena? She is bringing three Heart of War cards, mm -hmm. uh, which is ever very useful. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, her power uh, strategist really allows a lot of things as you can uh, activate multiple units, three, up to three units during the same turn. Ah, I so see, I see. All right, well, Leo, your turn. turn. Well, Wh which god? Uh, it's too bad that I missed uh, the, uh, the first draft because Athena is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, <coughs> yes. in the game. And it's one I usually play. But that's the game, so I'm going to do something. Uh, you know, I haven't had the opportunity to play with Hera a lot. So, for this game, we have 18 points of draft, right? Mm -hmm. Ath Athena, mm -hmm. like many, like all gods, mm -hmm. costs 6 points. Mm -hmm. But Hera here costs only 4 points, which means I will be able to draft more with ah. her. So, and she has some other powers. So she's not as powerful as some other uh, gods, okay. but Athena is not the heavy hitter too, so I will grab all right, well, I will, uh, I will uh, go for Benoit, Hera. If you give me the, the miniature, I will quickly show everybody who we're dealing with. So this is the, the beautifully new painted Hera, who caused all the shenanigans in the current world, if I have read the story correctly. Exactly. Exactly. Totally yeah, exactly. correct. Well, you see, I, I blame her, but uh, by the same mark, I should be blaming Zeus, because Zeus does what Zeus does. <laughs> uh, her card? So it will be a battle between two <laughs> two goddesses. Yes, this, this could be quite interesting, because... Uh, 
uh, whenever we had my friend Roma over, he was telling me about all of the backstories and stuff. You know, the the old Greek legends. It's I, this game has actually made me want to start researching all of the the Greek tragedies. And I tell you right now, if you go looking them up, they are tragedies. So here you go. Uh, we have to tell people here that uh, these are not the final uh, dashboards, ah, yes. right? These are just prototypes. Uh, with the final dashboards, they will be in cardboard, like mm. heavy. Uh, they will have those two slides, you know, ah, here, yes. well, uh, and you will have stat clips that will. Mm -hmm. Move them. Uh, well, if I if I show it on camera, so as you can see on here, you've got the the stat clip sort of marked on here as to where it will go, and then the two little white slots here will be cut out, and this this thing will just slide down as you take damage. Yes, exactly. Yes. Perfect. All right. So because I didn't choose first, mm -hmm. now we we go. We can pick any of the troops, mm -hmm. but I get to choose first. Yes. Right. So. Because she's a little weaker than mm. other gods, I need a big protector. So I'm going to go for the wonderful Cerberus. Ah, of course. So Cerberus, who you may also remember, is this cute little puppy here. He just wants cuddles. <laughs> just don't let him near the carpet. He may burn that. Uh, on his card, we can see, as you said, big heavy hitter, lots of health, lots of abilities, and abilities down here, which will come in very useful. And he's a guard, game. he can protect, he's fast, mm. he's very strong, he's yes, he's one of my favorite too. Excellent. Benoit? It's a pity because I wanted to recruit uh, <laughs> Severus. This is what I like about this game. If, if you know your friend loves playing one particular unit and you get the chance to go before it, you can sort of nip that unit away and make him look at new tactics. Which is so very I've good. spent eight points, right? Four for Hera yep. and four for Severus. Yes. And Benoit has spent six points. So uh, I'm going to pick another monster and it's going to be Medusa. Okay. So Medusa, yep. who. In the old legends, could turn people to stone. Can she do that within this game? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at her stat card very quickly, because I would like to see. So she doesn't have quite so many health points as Cerberus, but I'm seeing long-listed abilities there. Yeah. You know, so Petrify. Yes, I'm. I'm guessing. Well, Petrify probably does what it says on the tin. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. Okay. I assume it goes back to you, Leo. Yes. So now it will be one on one. Um, Decisions, decisions. I still think I need protectors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go for the guy who shares the same name as me. So I'm going for Leonidas. Ah, so Leonidas here is down here on the tabletop. Uh, the miniature is fantastically painted, and he, he does remind you of the old Spartan king. And I'm guessing his abilities are going to be geared toward defending Athena? Yes. Oh, and he has a bit of... Uh... Or Hera, in this case. <laughs> oh, Hera, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> names, Justin. Learn names. Okay, <laughs> uh, Benoit, back to you. Uh, so you are doing a protective recruitment. I think I will go for an aggressive one. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm picking the lion. Ah, the Nemean lion. Uh, this is one that I don't think we've actually seen under mm. camera yet. No. It's Really fabulous sculpt, and if you actually compare it to the size of a human, this thing is pretty damn big. <laughs> uh, Abilities-wise, it's actually really tough with the, the skin of the lion on here, and the lion's roar is going to make people not so happy. So that'll be an interesting one to see played against something like Cerberus. So I'm seeing monster-heavy choices here. Is there a reason for that? Well, because you don't have... The, you If you really want them, and you wait, you might not have them because the other player will will get them. So, fair, fair. and you, in this in this particular case, we had a fewer selection of big monsters mm. and more heroes. So we, well, I did focus on the monsters first mm. because of that. But now let's see. I've spent uh, eight, eleven points. Mm. So I have seven points left, and Benoit, he spent eight. I spent seven. Uh, seven, 11, 11, 11, point. yeah. 11 points. So we've spent the same each. The same. Mm -hmm. no, 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 I'm going to go for another of my favorites, okay. which is Odysseus. 
He brings Odysseus. lots of Art of War cards. Here we go. So this is Odysseus, who again you will remember from the battle between myself and Warren. Very useful character, great flexibility and great tactical you know, control on the battlefield. Uh, he also lets you mill through your deck a lot faster with his cunning ability. Uh, so he will be incredibly useful to you, I would say. Also, he lets you do double activations, which is just, well, I would say godlike, but there are gods on the table. <laughs> <laughs> so, Benoit. Um, I go for the Spartans. The Spartans? Yes. So these guys are right down the front of the table here. Excellent unit. Very, very good for, you know, well, I mean, like, I once said that these are the, the three Spartans down from 300, so they need to fight 100 to 1. <laughs> but this will be interesting because uh, the time I used them, I didn't really get to use them all that much. So seeing them in the hands of a experienced player will be interesting. And I am seeing a difference here. Do we have resin and plastic sitting yes, side the Yes, 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 exactly. Okay, that's... The plastic. Yeah, that's the plastic, and that's the resin. The plastics look really good. <laughs> and then, as you can see, smaller stat card this time, because it's just a unit of regular humans, they don't really have much special about them, but they do have a little thing, which is plus one for each Spartan to their attack. So they can they can dish it out a fair bit. So there you go, Benoit. Uh, Leo, next. So what's the total point of Benoit? Uh, that will be 14. 14. So he's got only four points left. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is this the point where you're looking to deny him something? That he of course, want? of course. Um, <laughs> and I have 14 points too. So I still have four points left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try uh, a unit that I haven't played yet mm -hmm. much because it was recently painted. Uh, I'm going to choose one of the three judges of the dead. We used to call them hell judges, but it's an improper term. Mm. So the real, they should really be called in English at least, uh, judges of the dead. So okay. we have, there are three of them. And I'm tempted by Ickes. Ickes, it's this one. Okay. Uh, he has some very interesting abilities. Okay, so here is the man himself. You'll remember these. These were one of the very first special characters you added to the core set. Yes. Uh, they've painted up absolutely beautiful. You know, you can imagine these guys coming up out of Hades going, nope, you've all ran out of Hades, you're coming back very soon. Uh, the card itself, it looks like a decent heavy hitter. This is a theme that I'm seeing with you, uh, Leo. Lots of uh, health here and, you know, plenty of punching power because this guy himself is throwing out six attack dice, which is... Yeah. And he has some Nothing interesting abilities. Mm. Uh, you know, when he's on, well, he's he's kind of a blocking ability that no one ha else has. Mm -hmm. So when someone is on his area, mm -hmm. if they want to leave, they have to pay one out of war card to leave his area. Oh. So he can block someone. Mm -hmm. And also, he has a one use only, one per turn. Uh, per game. Per game. Per game? Uh, oh, so wow. not per turn. Okay, per game. Be powerful. Yes, one per game. Uh, effect, which is the sentence of exile, mm -hmm. uh, he can decide at the end of the turn to when somebody is in his uh, area mm -hmm. that he puts him back to his deployment area. So he sends him back. Ah. Could can, be useful. Well, can that target your own guys? No, no, no. No, oh, no. no. That's, it has that's, to be. That's a shame. Uh, because it has I, to be an imagined, enemy unit. I, no, you see, I had imagined one of your own units having an Amphalus, and you just go, oh, you get back there. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Benoit, your last four points. I uh, believe you're completely out now, Leo? No, I still have one point left. Ah, fair enough. Uh, well, Benoit? And he brings one Out of War card. Ah, nice. So I have a lot of Out of War cards. Mm -hmm. So I hesitate between uh, Heracles and Hercules. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going for for Achilles. Achilles, or Achilles, as he's <laughs> labeled. Dubbed. This is one of the the meanest characters on the table, who is actually just a human who is an absolute badass with sword and shield. You know, uh, for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure all of you do, his only weakness was his Achilles tendon, which was not dipped in the river Styx. Uh, whenever you look at his actual stats. He is quite the combat monster. Seven attacks, uh, nine to actually do him any damage. <laughs> it's monstrous. Absolutely well, monstrous. He has nine defense, and the first uh, wound is ignored. Every time. Every time. Yeah. So there you go. Thank you. So, so he's got two very, very tough, resistant guys. He's got the mm -hmm. two 
toughest, uh, well, most resistant yeah, well, units in the game. Uh, Nimian and, 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 and the In the whole game, yeah. yeah. In the right. whole game, yeah. So oh. I have now a choice. I can choose any of these characters. Mm -hmm. um, what would be useful? That could be useful, yes. Um, well, uh, I'm going for uh the dogs the hell jet the hell dogs mm -hmm. well hell hounds right okay so we're not seeing the suit here today sorry guys <laughs> i'm going to <laughs> bring them to you yes so these i think i had these in a game the very first game we played but i didn't know how to use them but uh, let's have a look at them so it's a, a nice six creature unit so they will take a bit of killing to go down. The difference with the units is, for every point you do, you lose a model compared to most other things where it's, it starts going down on the wound tracker. But beautiful sculpt. Uh, the dogs themselves, for ability-wise, they look pretty decent. You know, plus one for each of the hounds, so they could be kicking out eight dice on the attack. Uh, no range, but they are quite nippy. And they have the Torment uh, ability, which is a very strong one. Well, I guess you'll have to show me that whenever we play the game. So, everybody, I believe that is the draft now 100% complete. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. The gods have appeared upon the battlefield. They have summoned their forces. It's now time to build our actual decks. Uh, we'll move on here. We will be back in a minute. Where these two are going to have it out in Mythic Battles Pantheon. Everybody, we're back. We have the draft complete. So Benoit and Leo, you are ready to go to war. Yes. Uh, we have set up our table, and everybody has everything laid out. I'm going to control the Umphalos for this game. Make sure everybody gets what they're meant to get. <laughs> the two armies are laid out either side. Nobody deploys on the board just yet until you begin the game. So who gets the first turn, Leo? Well, the one who who won the uh, the first pick. So it's Benoit. Ah, so the mighty Benoit. Who will be your first? Well, I suppose you have to draw your hand first. Yeah. Exactly. So I have my three uh, starting out of our cards. Yes. And I draw three more cards. Mm -hmm. And that's his starting hand. Mm -hmm. And I can draw my starting hand too. Yes. Now, uh, quick question. Because you're going first, do you not draw four? Yes. At the beginning of my turn, yes. I draw one more card. Yes. Yeah. So should I show my hand to... Uh, no, 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 no. I want you guys to play this close okay. to the chest. Okay. okay. You know? I'm not going to be picking anybody, so I'm going to be just as surprised as either of you two whenever you play amazing tactics and stuff. And okay. Really mess with sure. each other. So and should we com comment what we do? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know, okay. as you're doing stuff, just let us know what you're up to, yeah? Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to deploy Achilles. Uh huh. So, right in the middle of a battlefield. And so, why do I deploy him first? It's because he's very solid. Mm -hmm. uh, he can do. But he can challenge anybody on his own. So, mm -hmm. so basically a good point guard. Exactly. OK. Uh, are you doing anything else? Because, uh, right, I will say this, guys. We are going to play this as a let's play. So I want to be very clear. I want quick play, because we do already have a demo game. If you want to go and see it, it's in the link below in, on Beast of War, OK? So, uh, so we you play as we would normally, you right? Play as we you don't would normally, <laughs> okay. but, you know. OK. You know, actually, All right. You know, have it up. A little bit of theater. OK. All right. I'm good, Leo. That's your turn. Okay, so I draw one card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deploy Leonidas. I'm going to do it. Here. Okay. Uh, I'm um, guessing reasonably strong position behind the rock. Yes, yes. And, um, you know, I usually like to be in the middle when I can because then it gives you access to many different areas. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be here with hi this character at least because this is the what we call the the, uh, the highway. It's uh, the fastest uh, place. You know, you only have three areas here to reach the uh, other side. Mm -hmm. So this is a little safer, but not too safe. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, uh, And I didn't want to be too close to Achilles because Achilles will kill me for mm -hmm. sure. And he's far, so I don't risk anything now. Mm -hmm. That's, and okay. I'm not deploying anything else. I want to save my cards and see what he does. OK. Benoit? I draw one card. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to deploy my Spartans. Mm -hmm. I'm deploying them here. And I'm going to tell you 
later why I deploy them here. Well, you're being sneaky already. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it. I don't want him to to know <laughs> yet. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, anything extra? That's it. Okay. Okay. I draw. Oh, that 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 tension. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to deploy Hera. Okay. So Hera, I will deploy her here. So mm -hmm. she has a protector. She's protected. Mm -hmm. And she's in the center. Mm -hmm. And that's it for now. Okay. I draw. Okay. I'm spending one out of our card to s to draw two more cards. Mm -hmm. So that would, now this is just me thinking out loud, okay? But the fact that you're spending an Art of War card to draw two this early means that either you don't want to activate what's already on the field or that you really want to get something else down into the field. Whatever, right? Yes, you are right. Okay. You are right. And, uh, and you know what? I activate Achilles mm -hmm. and he's going to run so usually he is moving one space mm -hmm. but uh, he is only moving this turn so he can move one additional space yes. so he's moving by two spaces mm -hmm. and now so that puts him right up here in he's a in very the aggressive position exactly. exactly very cool okay i'm done okay leo draw i'm going to deploy cerberus oh. okay I'll put him with my goddess. He doesn't have any area attacks for now. Mm -hmm. So she's completely protected and he still can move up to two areas. So that could be useful. Um, now he's played two Achilles cards, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So he's only have two left. Mm. So we'll see what he does. So I will wait for now. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. The lion is coming. Is coming. And I'm deploying him here. Close. Are you in the forest? Yeah. Okay, uh, quickly remind me, what is it the forest does for you? Because I know there are two sort of terrain types at the moment yes. on the board. When you are in the forest, you have a plus one defense against ranged attacks. Mm -hmm. When you are in the ruins, you have plus one defense against melee attack. Cool. And fly units as well, but we do not have any. Here. Yeah, so. Okay, cool. So we don't mention the flying units, but there are rules for them too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, are you done? I'm done. Okay, I draw a card. I'm going to spend an audible card to mm -hmm. draw two cards. Okay. So that's just one of the things the Art of War cards can do, which is very, very nice because you can either draw the two cards, go searching for one, or pay to activate another unit, which we haven't really seen just yet. Yeah? Exactly. Okay, cool. Such deep thoughts, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm going to play Cerberus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move him mm -hmm. and attack Achilles. Ooh. One, two. Why am I doing this? Because he's used Achilles to move and maybe grab an Omphalos. Mm -hmm. If I can throw him, that means he's lost some activations, right? Yeah. So that he has done that for nothing. Mm -hmm. And because he's just a hero, I only need one ah. blank dice to do it. Clever. So, one, two, three, four, of course, I'm close to his Nimian line, mm. but... It's, it's, it's worth the risk. Exactly. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Eight dice. My, my attack rating is eight. Mm -hmm. And his defense is nine. Exactly. So it's not going to be easy to wound him, but I want to throw him. And with mm. nine dice, I'm likely to do one, uh, mm. one blank, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I did one blank. Um, 
unfortunately, I did three. I did. I only needed one. <laughs> so let's see if I can still at least one him a little. Mm -hmm. So I have one five. Have this four. I'm discarding this dice. Mm -hmm. Turn this four into a five. Yep. And I will keep those last two to become plus one uh, bonuses. Yeah. Bonuses, right? Now I, I will, I'm going to re-roll the two fives, mm -hmm. and I need to do two hits in order to just make him one wound, right? Mm -hmm. Because he ignores the first one. So I need two fours minus the two ones. If two I did threes. two threes, it's yeah. okay. Uh, one of them. But I got one. Actually, but not quite enough. Actually, yeah, yeah. So he ignores five the first and one. and three is eight. Mm -hmm. That's nine. But the second is five and plus two is seven plus one eight. Yep. It's not enough. So I don't win him because he's an Achilles, mm -hmm. but I can throw him. Yeah, I prevent one damage. Yeah. Brought I'm going to throw him here, back to where he, ca he came. Now, see, this is something I've wondered about, because you got your god on very early this, this game. Yours is still off the table, which means even though you're not getting him Phallos, you're not risking your god getting killed. Yes, but uh, the risk is that uh, he takes the advantage uh, to gain the Unphalos. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. because now he's here and he's protecting uh, mm -hmm. a little, right? I'm going to move uh, Leonidas because he, it's not risky as risky as before. Mm -hmm. He can't be. So, I'm going to play one Heart of War card mm -hmm. and then activate my second unit and it'll be Leonidas. Mm -hmm. And he's going to run. One, two. He's here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm done. I draw one card. Do you want me to play dirty? Oh, play very dirty. If that, hang on, I want this to be an actual game between you guys. So okay. I, if you're going to do him like a kipper, do him okay. like a kipper and have done. Okay. So I do activate the lion again. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing about, about the lion is uh, it has uh, the climb ability. Yes. And it, it moves by two spaces. So basically, I can make one and climb Oh, just right here. So onto the rock, yeah. Onto the rock. Mm, I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm on the top of the, uh, of the, the rock, cliff, of the cliff, mm -hmm. right, uh, I get a plus one range. So hang on, the Nemean lion, does it normally have range zero? Yes. So now it becomes range one. Exactly. So it's clawing down from the mountainside. Exactly. Into the very unfor unfortunate god here. Exactly. That's clever. Well yeah. done. And actually, uh, I could have done it with Achilles and with, uh, the Medu Me with Medusa too, because these three characters have a climb ability. Ah. Yes. But you, he couldn't have run no. and then climb, because when yeah. you do a complex action, mm -hmm. you can't use any of your talents nor powers. Mm -hmm. right? So basically, But he uh, has a move of two, so yeah, he could yeah. do that. Yeah, so but I, I didn't see cliff, from where I, I was scrabbling at the bottom. that it could, he could do that. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, okay, well, make your attack. So I'm really sorry, uh, Leonidas, but it's too tempting. <laughs> 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 I have to attack uh, Hera. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we eight dice. Mm -hmm. And the defense of Hera is... Is yep. eight, but he has... Oh, no, it won't work. No. Your torment ability won't it will work, not work because here. it's not a melee attack. Ah. It's a distance attack. It's a ranged attack. So, so I still have so eight defense. I'm so as soon as you go above that, that zero, it becomes a ranged attack. Yes, yes. Okay. No matter what kind of attack it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm rolling seven dice. Mm -hmm. And he needs to roll eight. So it's a five. So this one is lost. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, this one becomes a five. Mm -hmm. So those two go away. And these two are plus, plus ones. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And I That'll be two wounds. Yeah, two wounds. Ouch. Yes, ouch. Well, that's the price you pay when you don't pay attention. But my vengeance will be terrible. <laughs> so, because he... I, I'm not done. So. Yes, yes, but <laughs> because, because he's hurt me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right. That's true. He will receive... Um, a token, mm -hmm. um, a, the perfidious token, well, he, uh, a deceit token, right? Mm -hmm. That means 
the, the line now has this token. He suffers minus one attack, one minus one uh, movement, mm -hmm. and uh, minus one defense. Mm -hmm. The only way he can take this out, it's at the end. It can only be at the end of his next activation, mm -hmm. and he will have to spend one out of war card to remove the token. Ah. So that means she has a grudge mm -hmm. against him. And yeah, but it it means that even though Hera might be a little more squishy than other gods, yeah. she's not defenseless. No, she's not. She no. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, Benoit, you weren't finished. No, I'm not finished yet. I pay one out of our card mm -hmm. to fetch one card in my deck. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering who he's going after. Here it is. Okay, so you're going with Medusa. Yeah. This will be interesting. <laughs> And I deploy Medusa mm -hmm. right here. So hiding in the forest. Yeah. Well, now I oh. know that she can get here <laughs> and just. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm assuming Hira won't be hanging around very long. She won't be Hira much longer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad pun. Are you done this I'm time? Done. Okay. Grab a card. Mm -hmm. Now, this battle for me is very interesting because normally by this stage someone would be charging after the Omphalos, myself or Warren. The fact that you guys are really sort of fencing a little bit and yeah. feeling each other's defenses out is really interesting. I'm going to play Cerberus. Mm -hmm. He's going to grab, to claim this Omphalos mm. and then move away. One, two. He's back. Mm -hmm on Hera's area. Mm -hmm. I don't risk being petrified by uh, the Medusa in one turn. Mm -hmm. It will take him at least two turns, so I'll have time to do something if he ever mm -hmm. wants to do that. He will still be able to shoot at me mm -hmm. or to attack me with his line, but now he has the guard ability, so he can take yes. the damage. So yeah. now she's protected. Um, nice move. Mm -hmm. Then um, I'm going to fetch a card. Mm -hmm. So for one hour of war card, you're hunting down a card. Yes. Something in the back of my head is saying Odysseus is coming. <laughs> Could be. But not now. I will play Hera. Ah. And absorb this Amphalos and score the first point. Yes, so you'll and instantly get an Amphalos card. To absolutely, your yes. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I draw one card. And I deploy Athena. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally. Finally. She's yeah. coming. So I'm deploying her. Uh, in the same uh, area as the Spartans, as the Spartans mm -hmm. uh, because they have guard, so yes. they can protect her. Yes, and, and she's not very exposed in this area. Mm. See, this is one of the things I've started to consider for this game. Is one of my first buys perhaps being a unit with guard, yeah. simply because I know I can keep bringing them back to the field so long as I have the art of war cards to do it, and just constantly say, "Nope, you're not killing my god." Yep. Yeah. So, and I'm I'm done. It's a bad news, because now, mm -hmm. if he has enough out of war cards, mm -hmm. he can activate three times. Ah. Athena plus two other... Uh, so that means accelerating his game. Mm -hmm. Let me see how many out of war cards he's used so far. He's okay, used now, is this legal in the game where you can yes, just have a Yes, you can have a look cards? at any of the discard piles, anytime. Okay. Now, so that, you know. I like. So he spent two out of war cards, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have that many. I think he has... Uh, well, besides the, his three out of war cards in his starting hand, it all. he has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five out of war cards. Mm. That's not much. I have seven plus my three. I have ten. Mm. I have the advantage on this. Mm -hmm. this is the other so thing he's not going to be able to, to do that too many times. Maybe one for now, and mm -hmm. then it's going to be a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I, he's done. Now it's my mm -hmm. turn. Draw a card. And... Uh, 
I'm going to bring a, a favorite, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to bring a disease. Aha. He's here now, mm -hmm. right? Yes, but he's he's a, a bowman, so he can yeah, he can shoot mm -hmm. to uh, up to two areas away, mm -hmm. and well, he can't enjoy it now. But mm -hmm. uh, at the end of his activation, he draws one card mm -hmm. because it's a complex action to enter. Mm -hmm. He can't. Uh, yeah, none of the abilities are kicking in. No, but at the end of his turn. Mm -hmm. Now his other power is, is coming, and so I could activate a second unit if I mm -hmm. wanted, and if I had the cards. What I'm going to do instead is spend one out of all card to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. Okay, then what? Okay, mm -hmm. I activate a Fina again. Mm -hmm. And you spend your two out of all cards or not? I do. Mm -hmm. So he's going to do the strategist power, mm -hmm. which is a very powerful one, which allows him to activate Athena first. Mm -hmm. Well, he's he's going to fetch three cards in his decks. Mm -hmm. Then he will start at Athena's activation, and then he will activate up to two different other units. Mm -hmm. so, so he can take w the three cards he wants, any one, mm -hmm. from his deck, which is um, a good, uh, a very big advantage. And I'm assuming that it's not the cards that he's taking from his deck that he has to use, it's just any cards from yes. his Zen. Yes, and then he does what he wants. He mm -hmm. doesn't, yes. He doesn't even show me what the, the cards he took. Then he reshuffles his deck. Mm -hmm. And now he will start by activating Athena, which is not an advantage because you have to start with her and maybe there's not, not a lot that she can do. And then he will activate up to two other different units. So, I fetched my free cards. Mm -hmm. I start activating Athena. No, 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 you don't. You've already. Ah, so yeah, yes. you're right, you're right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. My fault. Yeah. You don't need to spend her cards. So, yeah. I move her by two spaces. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm moving her mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I have a line of sight. On this area. Mm -hmm. Sure. It would not be the case if I was here mm -hmm. uh, because the tree and Leonidas would be blocking the line of sight, but here I have a line of sight. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use Athena's second power, uh, which is her a hole. Owl. 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 Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so basically, it's a uh, harry attack. I, mm -hmm. I can uh, attack all uh, the enemies in a single area. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I'm selecting this area. Yeah, so you've got three people at least to attack there, yes? Yep. Okay. So I'm attacking... Uh, Who do you attack first? Cerberus. Cerberus, okay. So Cerberus has a defense of eight. Oh, not bad. Yeah, pretty good. So mm -hmm. this one is taken away. Two, five. Mm -hmm. So do you with a single plus one? One three. damage. So the second I select is uh, Odysseus. Okay, uh, now I have to tell him if I want to protect him or not. Mm -hmm. So the guard is optional, yes? Yes, it's mm -hmm. optional. Okay. It's your choice. Uh, right, uh, I'm not. You, you've you've kind of got your head in your hands there, man. <laughs> not guarding. Not guarding, okay. So he's got a six defense. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good roll. Very good roll. So it's one one hit and then hit. he re-rolls. Mm -hmm. It's two. Okay. So last target is, uh, is Hera. Hera. And then I'm guarding on Hera. So defense is eight. That's not as good. Yeah, but it's still one re-roll. Mm -hmm. ah, nothing. Ah. Ouch. Okay, so that was my first activation. Mm -hmm. So my second activation will be the lion again. And the lion is going to attack uh, Hera. Mm -hmm. So Cerberus is guarding, mm -hmm. right? And so he has one, minus one attack because of 
Harris grudge power. Yes. So my normal attack is seven, but now it's down six. to six. Yeah. Oh, it's not. That's very correct. good. So this one is five. Mm -hmm. And uh, three plus ones. But for what? one damage. For, for one damage, yeah. So he still has his grudge. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and because Cerberus guards... It but now it's the end of his activation. If he wants, he can remove it by spending one audible card. Mm. Um, no, it's automatic. No, no, you have. Okay, I have to. You can spend one audible card to remove it at the end of your activation. I don't spend it. And then... I activate Medusa. Medusa. So she moves by two spaces. Mm -hmm. So it's one, and she has the climb ability. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she can join the lion, mm -hmm. and uh, so she she has a basic range of two, but now it's three as mm -hmm. as she's on the cliff. And I'm shooting uh, Hera. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have to tell before if I'm guarding or not, and I'm guarding. You mm -hmm. are guarding. So. Uh, it's it's still eight. Still eight. Two fives mm -hmm. and a plus and one. one. That's one hit. Just one hit. Yeah. And I'm doing one last thing. Mm -hmm. So I pay one out of our card to recall my Spartans on the area of my god. Okay. In order to protect her. If needed. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. I want to count how many audible cards he's spent so far. Mm -hmm. One, two, Should three, be five. five, six. There's a six. Okay. Six, and you have a total of? Eight. Eight. So only two left. Okay. Two left, which means he can petrify, right? And yeah. he will try and do that next turn if I don't do something. Mm -hmm. And Medusa is strong enough that you can't just kill her in one shot. No. Mm. No. Okay, I draw one card. Mm -hmm. So many things to think about. Because when at the minute, the way this, this battlefield is laid out is not something I would have expected to see. It's very much a stand-up fight between two gods who I would have not guessed would be stand-up fighters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's interesting to see those, those different playstyles because we have Hera down here, Athena over here, you know, things up on the clifftop, which again, I had not really realized just how powerful that can be for you. Yeah. And Achilles is just standing back with a, a drink of something, watching everybody have a good time, waiting for his time to shine. Exactly. To grab that glory. <laughs> Have an idea. Mm -hmm. I know what you're going to do. <laughs> really, you can. Are, are you actually reading what he's possibly doing before he's doing it? If I wear him, I will use Cerberus uh, uh, Power. Mm -hmm. um, yes, well, I, that's a possibility. I can breathe fire here, mm -hmm. and, ah, but, so and that would be a, a six attack on both, and mm -hmm. I could throw her. But she would still be able to come back yes. mm -hmm. and petrify me. Yes. So this is why I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, then I would attack him. He has one less defense. So, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going first to use a, an out of war card to draw two cards because I want okay. some uh, options. Mm -hmm. One, two. All right. I didn't have what I wanted. Mm. Can you still spend one to go hunting? I could still go use one, two, but it's only one. I needed two specific cards. Ah. I was hoping I would get at least one by draw, uh, drawing two cards. Mm -hmm. So right now, what I want to do, uh, what, what I wanted to do, I, I can't. What, what I, I'm going to say what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I but wanted I... to move uh, Hera here. That mm -hmm. means if he mm. wants to, to petrify me, he will petrify his own god too. All right, so petrifies just in uh, yes, everything. Yes, everything ah, in there. That would have been a very smart move. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to move a protector 
-hmm. to go with her. Yes. Right? Just in case Achilles is coming so that he doesn't. Uh, so mm -hmm. I can't do that quite. So I have to think. Mm hmm. Uh, well, you see, it, it's interesting to see the way you think, because the, the hand goes over the mouth, and I just, hmm, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little costy, but I will deploy mm -hmm. Ickes. Yep. He has the guard ability, so he can protect her if necessary, yes. right? Of course, he can still petrify me, mm, but, but yeah, I have yeah. a lot of auto war cards, so... Yeah. And it's you're also not risking the, the fact of, does he actually have Medusa in his hand right now? Yes, well, he could bring a certain amount, a number of cards, so it's not sure, but I know this is risky. This is a risk, but mm -hmm. I can, I have a lot of auto war cards, so mm -hmm. I, and then I will use one auto war card to get the unit I want. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, to go get a guy. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to play him. Mm -hmm. And I don't even need uh, an auto war card to activate him because he's in Odysseus uh, area. Ah. So I've saved this. So I'm activating Cerberus. Mm -hmm. And what am I going to do? I'm moving Cerberus here. Now they are all blocked. Oops. Oh. Yes, now they are all blocked, right? Yeah, so they can't they get can't, away from no. you. And it's not only that; mm. uh, they are all they are all blocked. And now I'm going to attack, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a special attack. Mm -hmm. uh, it costs one out of war card, but it allows me to do three attacks as I want on anyone. Oh! So I will spend one out of war card and yep. activate uh, the three-headed bite from Cerberus. So that's three. It's only five. You know, it's a five attack, mm. but it's three times. Yeah. So uh, the first one I'm going to target is obviously the Spartans. Mm -hmm. Have a def defense of six. They have a defense of six, but seven because of the bolster, yeah, bolster. ability from mm -hmm. uh, Athena. Exactly. Yeah. Four five. So I need to do at least one seven, mm -hmm. or one, uh, or one uh, blank, or one just to, to, to throw them yes. away and they can't protect her anymore. Well, two blanks. Okay, two blanks. Oh. And one, five, three, four, five, right? Yeah. So, so I re-roll. Maybe I can kill one of them. Mm -hmm. And I do. Yep. I kill one of them. And I throw them, which I'm going to. Uh, let me throw them. Where is useful? Let me throw them here. Mm -hmm. Oh, or, yeah. Or even uh, here, they're protected from the ranged attack. Let's say uh, on Achilles uh, area, they're not going to protect Achilles, <laughs> they can and they can't anymore yeah. anyway. So uh, this one, this is my first attack. Now I'm going to attack twice on Athena, yeah. and he she doesn't have any protectors. Defense of eight, eight. So she's not very strong without uh, troops around her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I could t I could throw her. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to because I want to attack yeah, sure. her again. Yeah, sure. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm sure. I have a pl one five and a plus one, so I need to roll a two. Yeah. Oh, a one. No, nothing. Sometimes the dice say no. But once more. One more time. One more time. Oh, better. That's a little better. Yes, that's an. Two automatic. Oh. Either I can roll two fives, or I have one instant. Mm. I don't want to. I don't want to risk. So one. I haven't been very lucky so far. So let's just make it safe. Mm -hmm. Let's play it safe. So this, this is what I like. You can choose to bet big, or you can choose just to take that consistent. I can build my damage. Yeah. Yes. It's a very nice mechanic. I will activate Achilles. Mm -hmm. So he's coming, helping his goddess, mm -hmm. Athena, and obviously he's going to attack Cerberus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So Achilles has a basic attack of 7. Mm -hmm. And I have a defense of 8. Okay. So the special power of Achilles is to consider a blank of the first world as a 1. So mm -hmm. If he wants to. He, he, could, want to. He, he doesn't have to. But. Mm. So I have the, the mighty throw ability, but I will need two blanks to, to throw. Sure, yeah. So basically, the only thing, uh, smart thing I have to do is mm -hmm. to turn this one into a 1. Mm -hmm. So this one is a 5. Mm. So I, I, I roll three dice mm -hmm. and I have and I have a plus one. A plus mm -hmm. one. Oh, oh, that's a very, wow. very, very tough one. Mm. It's a free damage. That's yep. that's very bad. Okay, well, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And now Achilles has been played mm -hmm. four times. And so has Cerberus. Mm -hmm. So I need to focus. Actually, it's three times for Achilles. Ah, so there might be one more from him. Really? Really. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. My turn. Yes. I see that was one of the things I was considering was burning cards really early in the turn is a bit of a risk. Yeah, but it paid off uh, mm. at, uh, mm -hmm. for at least for the moment. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was something I found with the, the game I played with Warren. I had uh, Heracles, and I had him, you know, going through the forest, you know, bashing people, throwing trees left, yeah. right, and center. And it was just like, oh, I've, I've used all of his activations until I cycle my deck again. He's got no more gas in the tank. Yeah. You know, so it's nice saying that you, ha you have those powerhouses, but they can run out of steam. Yeah. I would like to use him to bring him to Achilles' area and mm -hmm. send him into exile but he would have to run so he wouldn't have his power so i can't do that and you will lose one guard for mm -hmm. he has guard so basically you will yes yes no longer protect that's him. right mm -hmm. what i can keep on doing is uh is attacking athena mm -hmm. she's blocked until uh, Cerberus has moved or is killed. Mm -hmm. Going to play Leonidas. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I hadn't seen that. Had this was it was stuck on my card, so. Mm. Mm. Oh, so not playing Leonidas. Maybe not. Okay. Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to play Hera and do what I said I would. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move her one, two. Mm -hmm. Does she still have two? Yes, she still has two, mm -hmm. two move. So now if Medusa petrifies, it's going to turn a lot of stuff to stone. Well, e including her own uh, Athena. Yeah, which and, would be and Achilles. And Achilles. So she probably, she's unlikely to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm going to do also uh, because I want to hit harder, I'm going to discard this Unfollows card, mm -hmm. well, take it out of the game, mm -hmm. and heal one point for Hera. Hera. Damage, yes. So, to Hera's damage, so she she's now back to seven in attack. Mm -hmm. and, right? I'm going to attack Athena. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have defense of eight. Okay. Well, not bad. Not bad. One five, a second five, a third five, and one plus one. So three dice and a plus one, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, two hits. Yep. That's my first. Mm. At my first uh, activation. Mm -hmm. Is it worth acting a bit in a second one at the minute? I could activate Leonidas and hit her. Mm -hmm. Still have a protector, so let's not focus there. Or I can move 
Acus. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, so he's going where? I'm going to uh, activate Acus mm -hmm. without using an auto wall card because he's in Odysseus uh, mm -hmm. area. So I, I'm saving an auto wall card. I'm trying yep. to save them. So this is why. See, this is why I think Odysseus is one of the best characters to have on your team because he just he makes you more efficient at actually getting activations. He will run mm -hmm. one, two, and he's now here as well. Yeah. Now, if any enemy units want to leave mm -hmm. this area, they need to pay one auto war card, mm -hmm. and I know he's short on auto war cards. So even uh, uh, even Achilles, mm -hmm. and they are both protectors or guards, so they yeah. can protect her. Now he could come and petrify me, but I have the advantage on uh, auto war cards, so. Mm. I'm not sure he will so you do could that. Buy your way out. Can you attack someone while they're petrified? Yes, you can. And do they have any minuses because of that? No, no. no but they, they can't they retaliate. Can't. They can't do anything else. Mm. They can just. They have to take it on the chin. Yeah. Yeah, that that gleaming stone chin. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Very well done. Is he making this difficult for you, Benla? Not necessarily. Them fighting words. <laughs> yeah, I've saved quite a lot of auto war cards thanks to uh, mm -hmm. Odysseus. Okay, let's do it. Huh? Okay. He's probably Before going it. to petrify, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well, maybe that's a little costly for him. Mm. Well, it's all the, the question of does he have that Medusa card in his hand? Yes, I do. All oh, right, he does. Does he have two auto war cards? So basically, <laughs> I cannot enter this area because it's too. Uh, there are too many crowded. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Too crowded. So basically, I can move it here. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot enter here, but but I'm uh, from from the uh, uh, Medusa may consider to be in this area to attack mm -hmm. someone or to use powers also. Mm -hmm. So I'm spending. Does he have it? Probably has the two auto war <laughs> cards, but that's a risky thing. Well, but that could that could work. It's going to slow down the game, mm -hmm. but we'll see. <laughs> it's very risky, but yeah, I don't. I do, I don't I. <laughs> see, that, that's what I love about this game. You okay. can have your tactics. I'm spending oh. two out of war cards. Okay, so he's going for it. Two out of war cards, yeah. and he will petrify and I have four tokens. Oh, mm -hmm. he can only petrify four, so... Cerberus... Uh-huh. Hera. Hera. Mm -hmm. uh, your guy, and Achilles. Oh, okay, so she's not petrified. Okay. Because I so. couldn't spend more than four uh, tokens, petrification token, petrified tokens. All right, so you can only put down four, or you only have four? He only back. has four at, uh, at a time. At a time, okay. And you choose how you spread them. And I choose how I spread them. Oh. Okay, now... So... That's uh, interesting. So that's Petrify. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about it is I, can, I still can attack after mm -hmm. using this power. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna attack Hera. And then also what is, what is nice is that all the pet Petrify units cannot use their talents or power. So, so no guards. Can, no guards. No guards. Exactly. Okay. So I attack with five dice. Against eight. Eight. Oof, good roll. Yeah, so that's three. Three, three, three five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One damage anyway. <laughs> Well, One damage, yeah. Well, there, there are times when these dice just love to laugh at you with that, that blank face. Well, and I can't put the grudge, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, because the grudge, you're petrified. Because, because I'm petrified. I don't have my powers, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. That's well, this your this does give Benoit a good advantage now, because now he can just yes. take his time and pick yes, the Yes, uh, what I didn't think uh, or had in mind is mm -hmm. that uh, not everybody would be petrified, mm -hmm. because we were too many. Yes. Okay, so... My bad. So it's it's good. It's uh, we'll see. <sighs> Odysseus is going to activate. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm. He's going to activate, and he's going to to throw 
Uh, <laughs> To Is attack, to shoot? yeah, to shoot Athena with his bow. Mm -hmm. He's got actually Medusa is here. Ah. Oh, where was she? She was oh. in that zone. Okay. So I'm assuming if it's if there's a miniature in that zone at all, you can't yes. shoot through. So I have to move him, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm going to do. Move him here, mm -hmm. so I can attack um, Athena. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I'm down to four dice because I was hit so that's not very good mm -hmm. but that's still a full dice attack yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, just the one just one um, how, what, how many what's her defense seven seven so, so rolling one. I need to roll one yes yep. that's my first Mm -hmm. Activation. Not because everyone else is petrified. Athena could run away, theoretically, yeah? She can run okay. away. Okay. How many activation did uh, Athena have? Yes. How many out of war um, card? Well, uh, two, Athena. Two, 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 two. I think she's had like three. One, two. 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 Hmm. So she does still have some gas in the tank, can do some stuff. Mm. So that was... Mm. How many acres? One. I need to, to see. Two, I think. Two from acres and Hera. One. Two. Three, I think. Three. Mm -hmm. One more Hera, right? So that means yeah. if I want to unpetrify, I need to spend one mm -hmm. activation card plus one auto war card. That's mm -hmm. very costly. At the very least, what I would try and do is unpetrify one of your guards. Because as it stands, you're literally stood there with no defense. You know, that, that's what I'm seeing from this. Yeah, you're all right. Mm. One of my guards, right? That's yeah. what I would say, either or, just to try and get that defense back up. Because otherwise, right. but it's going to come to them last turn. He's maybe going to activate two and just get two good slaps at you. But the nice thing for me is that you cannot do it with uh, Cerberus, because you spent all all of his yes. activations. So yes. he's petrified uh, until... Uh, yes, until the, the recycle. Yes. And uh, as, he's, uh, as he has the block talent, mm -hmm. he's the one who is really uh, causing me okay. troubles. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very good analysis. I'm going to unpetrified Ikas. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's not petrified anymore. Yep. So now to leave this area, it will cost him one audible card, so he's still That's stuck. True, yeah. So it still makes it bad enough to try and get away. And yep. if I'm right, I think Benoit has burnt all of his art of war. Yes, you're right. Yes, he has. All right. So. Is it my turn? Yes. And he has the god ability. Mm -hmm. I do activate the lion, mm -hmm. who is getting getting down the cliff. So he has a normal move of two, mm -hmm. but as I have a token on, on him, it's only one. I cannot enter this area, uh, mm -hmm. so I can attack it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm and because it's there, do I have do my power work outside of, of this area? No, no, it's no, no, no. It's, it's only for people outside the, the area. So. So things are devolving into a really nasty melee down the front here. Yeah. And I attack, obviously, Hera. Mm -hmm. With a minus one attack token, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but my torment ability is applying. Okay. Because you're supposed to be in the same area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, uh, I'm guarding. Okay. So you need to roll seven. But six. 
because of torment. And you only roll six dice. Yes, exactly. So I will use. Oh no! Plus two. Uh, okay, free reroll. Oh no! You you could have. You could have two sixes for sure, right? Had two five and two threes. Ah yeah yeah, I can I can have an automatic one. So I, I roll two. Yeah, thank you. No no, you you. You would have two automatics. I had, had two, two automatics. automatics. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. Or uh, yes, you had. Two fives and two threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the two automatics. Yeah. Okay. Well, I suppose you're done because you don't have any other war cards. Oh, uh, mean. <laughs> you can only activate once per turn. Yeah. My turn. But those decks are starting to look a little bit thin here. Yeah. <laughs> the sentence of exile uh, costs one out of war cards. Yes. But I could... Oh no, I can't do it on him, right? No, He's not you have to be in the same area. Mm. Okay. And if you leave that area, you're opening yourself up again. Okay, I'm going to activate Echus again. Mm -hmm. And he's going just to, to attack. Mm -hmm. On to Athena, I assume? On to Athena. Okay. Yes. I have a defense of 7. Mm -hmm. And he's got an attack of 6. Mm, not too bad because I have two fours and, and I can one. turn them into two fives and I've got still one plus one. Yep. Uh, seven, right? Mm -hmm. Seven, yeah. Two hits. That's nice. not bad. Okay. She's turned starting to be a little weaker. Yeah, yeah. Mm. She's got only got three, three lives left. Yes. Yes. So this has turned out to quite the meat grinder. Yep, it's not good for me. No, 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 no. My turn. I activate my Spartans. Mm -hmm. So they will attack with four dice. Mm -hmm. Here up. Um, I'm guarding. So you attack. You're attacking Echis. Mm -hmm. Seven defense. Uh, you've got one five and a plus one. Mm -hmm. You get one damage. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Okay. Leonidas is going to... I can't enter the area, right? Mm -hmm. But I have a range of one. Yes. So I'm going to claim this Amphalos, yep. right? Because you can. Because mm. I can, and it's worth doing. And then I'm going to attack... Um, uh, to attack... Athena. Athena, Athena. Athena. yes. Okay. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have to put them on the base, you just like to? Yeah, well, I like... It's supposed well on the final yes here it is the final base it will be flat so it will be wow. easy to to put but here yeah, it, these are nice little yes, cynic yeah. ones that we've done up. Like all right done up. um six dice mm -hmm. one two three four five six so what's Athena's defense six mm. weakening weakening or oh, hello or Ooh. or reroll four well need one. That's a five. So I buy two sixes, so two, and I re-roll this one. If, oh, okay. oh. That was a very, very bad one. Yeah, and this could be game over. Oh. It is. Yes. Leo, congratulations. Thank you. You've killed Athena. Benma, good game, man. <laughs> that, that was a really interesting game of this, because... Very like, tense. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, whatever you see, you've seen myself and Warren playing. We are constantly moving and shifting stuff. It's seeing you guys look at this tabletop, and you're working out the probabilities as you're going through each step. Whenever you're looking down at your cards, okay, if I do that, here's the next three steps. If I do That's that, right. there's the next two steps. 
I've never seen anyone play like that. That was interesting. <laughs> I have a lot to learn about this game. I can tell you right now, and so does everyone else out there. Guys, do me a favor. Drop your comments in below. Did you enjoy the Mythic Battles guys getting a game on against each other? Stay tuned because we will have more fantastic Mythic Battles content coming up in the future with Leo, with Benoit, and uh, with anyone else we can get our hands on that loves this game. So get your comments in below. We'll move on here. We will see you again next time. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the reconquest and fight the scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at beastsofwar.com.